In this video, I'll show you how to disable a shadow for an object in Blender, and I'll show you a few different methods on how to disable the shadow, and also how to disable the shadow in both Cycles and Eevee, so you can use whichever method works best for your scene. So the first option only works in Cycles, so I'll be using the Cycles rendering engine, and we're going to select the light, and I want to disable the shadow for the monkey head. So select the light, and you can go over here to the object data properties. And then just go down here, and on the light settings, you can disable the cast shadow. So now the shadow has disabled disappeared. Now if you're using the Eevee rendering engine instead, I'll just change this over to Eevee, you can select the light and then go here to the object data properties of the light and you can just uncheck this shadow right here. So that's how to do it in Blender Eevee instead of Cycles. Now let me just change this back over to Cycles because there's another way to disable the shadows using Cycles. So in the Cycles rendering engine, you can select the object that you want to disable the shadow. And you can then click right here on the object data properties and you can open up the visibility and go down here to the ray visibility and then you can uncheck the shadow button and that'll get rid of the shadow for just that object. Now there's also another way to disable the shadows using the materials for Blender Eevee. So let me go back over here to the render properties and I'll change this over to Eevee. So if you have a material on your object, you can click here to go to the material settings. And remember this only works in Eevee. So go to the material settings of your object. And if you don't have a material on your object, you can just add a new material. And then you can go down here and open up the settings. And on the shadow mode right here, you can change this to none and that's gonna get rid of the shadow. However, that option doesn't work in cycles because if I change it over to cycles, and go to the material settings, those settings aren't there. However, if you are using the Cycles rendering engine and you want to disable the shadows using the material, you can do that in the shader nodes. So I'm in the Cycles rendering engine and I have a material on this object, so I'll click here to go to the shading workspace. And I just have a simple procedural material on the monkey head. So what I'm going to do is go to the add menu and I'm going to search for a mix shader and put it here after the principled, and then I'm going to go to the add menu and mix it with a transparent. So I'll add a transparent shader and I want the BSDF from the transparent to go into the bottom one, and then the principled shader or whatever your material is can go into the top one. Now the factor is gonna blend between using the transparent and using the principled shader. But what I can do to disable the shadows is go to the add menu, and I'm gonna search for the light path node, and I'll drop this up here. Now the light path has this is shadow ray, and I can put this into the factor instead. This way you'll be able to see the material, but then the shadow is gonna be transparent. So that's another way to disable the shadows using cycles, using the shader nodes. Now there's one more method for disabling the shadows and that is using the shadow linking and this only works in cycles. Now I actually have a full tutorial on how to use the light linking and shadow linking so if you'd like to check out that tutorial the link will be in the description but I'll show you how to disable the shadows now. So I'm going to select this light you can use any of the light objects in Blender and I'm going to go here to the object properties. Then you're going to go here and open up the shading tab and make sure you're using the cycles rendering engine because these settings are not in Blender Eevee. So there's the light linking and you can watch my other tutorial if you want to learn how to use light linking but we're going to open up shadow linking. So now what I can do is open up the outliner and I'm going to make sure I have this light selected but then what I want to do is click on new here to add a new shadow linking and then I want to drag this monkey head here into the shadow linking. So I can click here on the collection, click on the Suzanne head and I can drag and drop it from the outliner into the shadow linking tab here. Now there is a check mark here and I can click on the check mark and that's going to disable the shadow. And also if you have multiple objects you can do the same thing. So you can select the light and then you can drag and drop the other monkey head right in here. And then you can click on the check mark here to disable the shadows of that object. And then also if you want to do it for many objects, you can add in a collection as well. So I'm going to click on this Suzanne, get rid of it, click on the Suzanne and then hit the minus here to get rid of it. So I can select both of these Suzanne monkey heads. I'll hit the M key to move them into a new collection. Let's click on new collection. I can just call this monkey and click on okay. So we now have a monkey collection which has the two monkeys. And I'll just duplicate this a few more times to add a few more monkeys. So now to disable the shadows for all the monkey heads, you can again select the light in your scene. You can add the shadow linking and then with this light selected, you can then click on the monkey collection and drag and drop it here into this box. And now I can click on the check mark here just to disable the shadows. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to watch more Blender quick tips, then definitely check out my Blender quick tips tutorial playlist. The link is in the description. And if you find these videos helpful and you'd like to help support me and this channel, then some great ways to do that are by checking out my Gumroad store and my Patreon page where you can get access to lots of Blender content and help support the channel. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.